In this video, I'll show you how to enable reviews in WooCommerce. Not only that, I'll show you how to enhance the review experience for you and your customers. For example, we'll allow customers to upload photos of the products in which they've purchased. We'll automatically send reminders to customers to leave a review after they've purchased. And we'll also show a histogram on the product page so prospects can quickly filter through the reviews. I'll also show you how to add a question and answer section similar to what you'll see on Amazon and so much more all this for free so let's get straight into it right this video i'll show you how to transform your review section from looking like this to more like this okay so here we've got our review section we've got the review histogram we've got our review rating here prospects can vote whether the review was helpful or not okay and then here we've also got a question and answers section as well so if you want to create a similar setup on your woocommerce store i'll leave a link in the description below to this particular review plugin which is free and with that being said let's get straight into it so the first thing we want to do is enable product reviews navigate over to woocommerce and then settings and then we'll navigate over to products and now we'll go ahead and enable reviews so let's hit save changes all right, so now let's navigate over to this particular product here. I don't want to display reviews on this product, so I'm going to hit edit. Now, when we navigate over to advanced, here we've got this option which says enable reviews. So let's tick this option, hit update, and now let's view the product again. And now we've got this review tab and customers can go ahead and leave their review okay so this is a good start but we can enhance the experience a bit more and to do so we'll be using a free plugin so let's head back over to our dashboard let's go plugins add new and then we'll search for customer reviews all right let's go ahead and install this let's activate now we've got this new tab here where we can manage our reviews but also add those additional features which we spoke about so let's navigate over to settings let's go ahead and enable automatic reminders so whenever a customer places an order with yourself you want to automatically remind them to leave a review here we can choose the delay in days so if you know typically customers will receive their products in seven days then we can add seven days here and then we can choose to email them so here for the verification we can independently verify all the reviews or we can use the cost rev platform to collect and verify the reviews that are coming in all right so let's scroll down so a lot of these options i'll skip over but i'll try to highlight the relevant settings all right so you might want to enable this option where it says moderation for reviews so whenever a customer submits a new review then you want to hold it in moderation until someone actually reviews and approve that particular review we might want to exclude reviews for our free products. Let's hit save changes. All right now let's navigate over to review extension. I'm going to enable the review summary bar. I'm going to allow customers to vote on reviews that they think is useful. Okay, so by default, WooCommerce has a verified owner um, label. Here we can actually customize that text. For the customer avatar, we can leave it to standard. Right, which will use a default WordPress system to try get their image if they've got a Gravatar account, or we can just limit it to the customer's initial. So again, let's hit save changes, review form. Here we can add a rating criteria. For example, you could say something like, how was the fit? How comfortable was it? So here we can add a custom rating. We can allow customers to attach videos and images to their reviews and here we can limit the number of media files in which they can upload let's say free here we can limit the maximum file upload in mb in which we want customers to upload so i think 5 mb should be enough we can add recapture support so if you get a lot of spam then it's highly recommended that you go ahead and enable this option again let's hit save changes okay let's scroll down we can customize the form color and let's just hit save changes let's navigate over to review discount okay so to incentivize customers to actually leave a review then you can incentivize them with a coupon code so for example if they upload one or more photos or videos we will give them a coupon code so we can choose some existing coupon code or we can actually create a new coupon code we can specify which user role can take advantage of this coupon code and then when we scroll down 
Here we can set the discount type, whether it's fixed cart discount, fixed product discount, or even the percentage off. All right, we can add the coupon amount here. So we could say 10%. We can add a date validity. We can add a certain conditions to it, such as minimum, maximum spend, and so on. Let's scroll down, set a usage limit and so on. Let's go ahead and hit save changes. So again, you'll have to scroll through and actually customize it to your liking. Okay. So if you did want to incentivize customers with a discount, just make sure you enable this option and then go ahead and just tailor it to meet your particular requirement. Once you've done so, just hit save changes. Now I'm going to navigate over to question and answers. All right. So we can enable this option. And then we can hit save changes. Okay, so now let's head back over to our product page. Let's refresh this particular product. So here we can see we've got one four star review. We've got the rating. We can vote whether this particular review was useful or not. And then when we add our new reviews here, we can upload a file or a video. We've also got this newly added question and answers section. So there's no questions currently. We can go ahead and add one. Okay, so we've added one question here. And then finally, just to finish off this video, we'll just have a quick look at the review settings. So let's head back over here and then we'll navigate over to emails. And then here we've got our review reminder email. We've got also our question and answers notification email and also our discount email as well. So you can just hit manage and then just go ahead and customize the messaging to match with your particular brand identity. Like and subscribe for more videos like this. And if you've got any questions, leave it in the comment box.